that's a, that's a little prepare myself a little In bit. August, you could do that scarf? <laughs> Welcome to another keto date night, or should I say carnivore date night? What? I know, because that's what we are having tonight. So I am participating in, or I've made up a challenge for the month of August oh called Carnivogist, where I go carnivore for the month of August. So mm -hmm. our date night consists of serving turf. We got steak and we got scrimps oh and uh, we got salmon. So like all of the meat groups and all of the meat groups. You're right, exactly. So let's go ahead and hold up. See if we can oh, get a nice. little. Oh, oh show, the, show the world. Yes. Oh, it looks Your so world. good. See, I have this beautiful steak that my husband made. Mm -hmm. This salmon that I. It's called foolproof because once you just gotta set it on the stove and let it That's cook basically. and not touch it, that is foolproof. Especially the way you love your salmon. And then we got these uh, shrimp skewers that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm, gonna, gonna, uh, sample. I'm gonna let my we're sweetheart to talk a little more in detail about the meal for tonight. So um, take it away, honey bun. I mean, basically, I just took the simple approach: mm -hmm. salt, pepper, and extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Literally did that with the steak, and I had that marinade. I used the actually the the hickory. What is it, the hickory liquid uh, smoke? Yes, the hickory liquid smoke seasoning. Mm -hmm. Let that sit for. I would say about an hour, mm -hmm. about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah. Set it both sides, get it good and good and melted into the into the crust. Threw that right on the grill. Well, with steak, with my steak, I had to be time sensitive, so I had to make sure I had, mm -mm. Had to pay attention to it. You know, like three minutes on. Mine's the more of a set it and forget it sort of situation. <laughs> like we are cooking that sucker all the way through. Well, it's just how you prefer it. It is how you I prefer, prefer it. It's very well done. Thank you. Or I'm a nice medium to medium rare type of guy. Oh. So <laughs> okay, and the salmon, very very simple. Since we don't have any wooden planks or anything like that see for the that grill, that's yeah, we see that. we just went ahead and cooked it on the stove. It was pan seared. Yeah, pan seared. Five minutes on one side, four minutes on the other side. Same technique. Salt, as the pepper, olive oil. That is it. And ooh, it's delicious. <laughs> like all right now, like all of the corners are missing off of all my food because I was just like sampling bits of it. Is I know, that right? why? I, I thought the skillet was taking. No, I'll that was all me. Yeah. You sneaky, sneaky. <sighs> yeah, well. Okay, now let's talk about these scripts. Oh yes. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to make that noise. <laughs> well, basically, this I took a different approach. Instead of the salt, pepper, olive oil on the steak, I went with garlic and butter mm. on the shrimp. It looks really so good. So I literally just let it soak in some melted butter and minced garlic mm -hmm. for about. I'll say 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I used my fingers, used my mitts, got in there and just got all in a Look, bowl. He would put the shrimp in there and then he would put something on there and then he would mix it all together so he'd have to wash his hands and then he'd add something else to the bowl and then mix it all together and he'd have to wash his hands again. I'm like, why do we just put it all in there at one time? So that we only have to wash our hands once. I'm sorry. I was because just... when you're making a recipe, you, you, don't you just start adding things. Exactly. <laughs> Put it on the skewer and threw it right on the grill. Mm -hmm. Maybe so we were it... supposed to soak the skewers? Because they were starting to char at the tips. Maybe it was. I, I, I was just like, oh, these skewers are blackened. Okay, I see how that goes. I have say. two shrimp. On my well, I detailed it. As well, well, he detailed it like that matters. I mean, I just don't know. I'm going to slice and end yes, off. and this is what he did on our first date, and I love it. it. He cuts my meats up for me. Well, I just want to add them in yeah. bites, so that way you're not yeah. Over I don't, I don't have to be overwhelmed. Thank you. Those are crunchy, crusty bits. Those are crunchy, crusty bits, which I honestly didn't necessarily know that shrimp could get like that. And maybe mm. if it did, maybe I'd eat some of it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna try go. a piece of shrimp. I'll probably try the end piece. Then. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Trying to make it as I'm best. I'm try the, the crispy end piece. It still looks so <laughs> thick to I me. Know. Okay. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna say the flavor is delicious. Like. It, it's garlicky. It is. It is spicy and old bay-y. The texture is just too. 
it's still gummy, it's like in like a firm. Not not in that you did anything oh, wrong. Okay, in a business shrimp. I'm not absolutely repulsed by it, but I would never choose to eat this. I would <laughs> never be like, you know what I want? Go ahead and make up some shrimp. But it's good to know that if shrimp were the last food on the planet, <laughs> I, can I wouldn't die, food. you know? So, for the sake of carnivore date night, I will actually eat my second shrimp. Oh. I know. This is the whole shrimp. Oh my gosh, she's going to do it all in one swing? Heck, you know. I was going to say. I but I'm going to bite off. Mm. It's just the texture. It's not even really you know, the flavor. Because the flavor's not bad. It's just... Well, I tried to make sure and tried to make There's a There's a firmness to it. Yeah, there's, a, there's just like a firm springiness to it that I am not you responding well to. just still feel it mm -hmm. in the background. The flavor of that was just really good. But it's just, it's a texture thing. It's a texture thing. But I tried it, everyone. So no, there's that. I was very impressed. Thank you. I was very impressed. You okay, tried. so next, what I know I'm going to love oh is God. just this amazing salmon. But I'm going to put some chipotle aioli on it because oh that is carnivore enough for me. It's zero so carb. You're going to be able to hear, at least you yeah, should, the, you, the crunch. Yeah, Listen. Yours is bacon. Mm. <laughs> yours is bacon. Mm. Yeah, that's crust. Mm. And yours, is, yours is not. I mean, but there's nothing wrong with that either. Foolproof. Like, it is so flavorful and it is just such flaky, a flaky, crispy. But crispy, buttery. Oh my God. See? This is what makes me love you more. Hmm. The fact that you don't love shrimp, so I get all the shrimp. <laughs> That's how I love that you don't love chocolate. Because I'm like, oh, yeah. oh I'll take that. Mm. And then finally, my oh, yeah, steak. What, what sort of steak is this? But as you might be able to see, my husband has pre-sliced it like so thin, oh, like <laughs> because he knows that's exactly the way. That I like it. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, she just takes care of me. Look at this. I'm gonna chew into thin, mine as well. Thin sliver of steak. I don't know what kind it is. Top, bottom, middle, round. <laughs> I don't care. It's steak and it's so good. It's like all the steak. Mm. But then once again, it's also the flavor, like the the smokiness, you whatever that. you, you taste do the to flame. it. Mm -hmm. You can taste that flame on there. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, but I bet it has a lot more. Yeah, it is still. <laughs> A lot more fatty than mine is. I can mm. already tell. Mm. Game over. No. Game over. Shut mm. it out. No. Shut it out. Shut the camera off. Oh my god. Shut the camera off. You're so extra. Oh my really gosh. Mine is really good. I don't know what he's talking about, but. I don't even know what I did. Mm. I'm gonna have to rewind the tape. <laughs> okay, well, enough about the food, even though it is really, really good. I was gonna say. But tonight's date night is all about in laws. So. I wanted to use this time oh mm -hmm, oh for gosh. us to spill the collective tea on our in-laws. Oh my gosh, get back in here. So I really just wanted to talk about... Gulp. <laughs> okay, so what I really just wanted to talk about was like, what were your, I guess, hopes about in-laws for the woman that you would eventually marry one day? and oh. Or maybe what were things that you didn't think about, oh my god, didn't think about or didn't consider. Maybe I love this question. Mm. Actually, actually, to be honest, oh, okay. it was your mother-in-law's suggestion. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, so she's watching. Oh my gosh. For me, one thing that I guess I didn't really take into consideration is like with your in-laws, and this is just with your spouse's family mm -hmm. in general, it's just like you are the complement to your spouse, like in their family, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but in Richard's family, he's the zany, crazy, you know, all over the place one. And so now, <laughs> you know, I'm the wife of the zany, crazy, all over the place one. So what? it's like, oh, how's Rick doing? Is he driving you nuts? And you know, like you just, you kind of- And who family members I tell you these things? I gotta write, this <laughs> one, I gotta write these names down. You just become like just the like a joining piece of that person you know so we're kind of like one unit which I, I love I love that he plays that role in his family and it's just always it's fun to talk to them so I really enjoy it. <laughs> what conversations are you having with this? Okay cut the camera off oh because I'm making this out. I honestly have always dreamed of being with my spouse's family 
and like everything just fitting and making sense. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. you grow up watching all these TV shows and all these um, sitcoms and everything with everybody's extended family and there's just mm -hmm. one big unit. And when I when I was young, I actually had that a little bit. Yeah. My, mm -hmm. Because my mom and my dad's family was so vast and we used to visit them all the time. Mm -hmm. Being with you has reopened all of that in me. I get to actually have an extended family and talk to other people, like be, meet new. You know, and that's so interesting because my I used to always think that my dream scenario with the husband mm -hmm. would be that basically he had no family whatsoever because my family is so big and close. Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't want to have to do like the two Christmases, two Thanksgivings, you know, like mm -hmm. if you didn't have a family, we could just spend all day in my family's <laughs> house, you know, and that would be best case scenario. Okay. But no, but like I really just didn't consider that, you know, if his family is just as awesome as my family, then like we get two Christmases and two Thanksgiving, you know, and it's just it's just two big sets of like love yeah, and family yeah, and yeah, craziness. It's, it's so two tidal waves yes, crashing into each and other. I absolutely love it because it is very similar, but then you know it's also different because we're like different people and have different families, but the love and the environment is what is the same. I agree. Yeah, so I you know, I was worried. I wasn't really worried, but you know, I was concerned of like, oh, if he's so close to his family and I'm so close to my family, I didn't want to do the thing where we were well, separate. That didn't overlap. Well, you know, where, where we were separate. Of like, mm -hmm. you go be with your family and I want to stay with I mine really because I want to be with right, my spouse, you know? Another thing that I've learned is that, or, and I've kind of learned that with you in relationship uh, to like your in laws, aka my parents, is that. To an extent, or at least in the very beginning, you only have the relationship with your in-laws that your spouse has with their parents, you know? That's it's like, true. you can't be, <laughs> you know? That's and true. that comes specifically in talking about, like, uh, us and my father. Mm -hmm. My father is the type of person, we have the type of relationship where we only see each other two to three times a year. And there's nothing wrong. <laughs> okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's just that's been our relationship, oh, yeah. you know? You know, when it came time for my dad to get to know you or mm -hmm. you to get to know my dad, like Richard and my father only met like twice before we got married, you know? Yes, and true. and so it is so interesting because I can like from my dad's standpoint, I married a stranger. Like because he's only met this person twice, whereas like if if me and my dad don't have that sort of relationship where we talk very often, then of course Richard and my dad aren't gonna have that relationship where they talk very often. You know, my mom is apt to pop up here any any second. You no, know, yes, that's, that's you know, true. and so like that's we have true. the type of relationship where it's like, oh, mom's here. Where it's like I, I've seen her 132 times. Yes. So it's, you know the type of thing where we have to plan when we're gonna see my dad. No, you know, and that's just that's just yeah, the, the thing. Where my family is, we're just one big. There are pop ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're just like, oh, we're gonna go pop up and see him. So it's like if you're not necessarily close or used to seeing a parent. That's, what that's gonna it's gonna be distant, yeah, exactly, nice. to the spouse. I so. Never thought about that. Yeah. Until just now. Game changer. Okay guys, so for carnivore dessert, uh, I had a couple of options I was thinking about. One was that whipped cream that I made. Yeah, I so a really super simple, pretty much zero carb dessert is if you just take some heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. and maybe like a zero calorie liquid sweetener. Yeah. I use Jordan Skinny Syrups. There's a ton of different flavors. If you just whip that up and make like a, a flavored whipped cream, that is absolutely delicious. I have to agree. I know, right? <laughs> you gave but, me a couple of samples of it. But also, uh, this week, the people over at Key Nutrients sent me some of their Keto Cocoa to try, which I was really excited about Whoa. receiving because like we are a hot chocolate family, like which I know I just love when we have the little things in common, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to, to try this uh, out. And so per scoop, it has 70 calories. It has three grams of total carbs, which isn't bad at all yeah, considering the rest of my day is zero carbs, you That's know, I can spare three carbs and 
two of these are fiber. So if you're only counting net carbs, then one scoop is only one yeah, net carb. I was going to say that could counteract with the Yeah, other. which is really good. But I'm counting total carbs. So I, I give myself 10 total carbs a day this month. So this was three of them. But hey, it's date night. I'm yeah, with my honey say. buns. It is a treat. So I wanted to take this chance to give it a try. So what we have in here is chocolate unsweetened chocolate mm -hmm. almond milk yes. and then we have a scoop of this uh powder and then we also have a, a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream to kind of like froth it up what? and so i know right so let's give it a try mm, this smells amazing mm. that is good but you know what it's not as sweet as like a traditional hot chocolate oh, yeah, no. so but you know that it's better but it's still, you I think you it's still MCT the powder taste. too. It's not just it has MCT in it as well, but but it still retains the taste. It is. It's yeah. really good, uh, and I love it. this powder as well as that heavy whipping cream has definitely made this very thick and mm -hmm. creamy. This would be awesome on like a cold winter. I was just day. gonna say, um, I'm good. Uh, Mm, this is really good. <laughs> if you like it sweet, I would definitely add a liquid stevia or something to sweeten it up just a little bit. But it honestly has like a really true. Yeah, I'm like, you didn't add any sweetener at all. No, it's just the it's just the sweetener from that's that's in here. So it's good. I mean, I as a person who grew up eating sugar and loved sugar, I honestly cannot tell. Really? I, I maybe mean, it's the heat. I mean, it's because it's warm. I mean, it's cocoa. it's good. I am in heaven. Let's roll. I don't know what do we do after drinking hot cocoa. Uh, go to bed. I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks again to the people Ooh. at Key Nutrients for that. sending me this keto cocoa. Yes. It was really good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I, I commend you, Key Nutrients. Oh my gosh. Well, and thank you guys for joining us for our carnivore date night. Yay. I, it was it was a smashing success. You know, I no peppers and onions. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but like <laughs> it turned out really, really well, you good. Had to, we had to taste the shrimp. Yeah, I had so some shrimp. Was... I learned and tried some new things. So overall, it was a very, very successful night. I agree. Okay, so how we end every night? Instead of toasting with our glasses, we're gonna we're gonna toast with our with our mugs. Ooh, yay! I fancy. know. Okay, to my amazing husband and his truly amazing family. Oh, like, gosh. they are a treat, a real oh, life goodness. treat. I have to double that oh, with okay. your amazing family, and they are a treat. Oh, my. Uh, I agree. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Woo, that is good. Right, That's good. Like that. <laughs> nestle, nestle up here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating. Yes, she does. Monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional product review, recipe, keto date night, etc. You can also find me on Instagram, so Facebook, what? and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and we'll see you next month. Bye! Bye! I'm sorry. Kick the camera. You always kick the camera. Do I kick it? No, I'm just oh. saying, don't do oh, it. Preemptively, oh. don't kick the camera. I'm not. <laughs> what is this? What is this little square around? Is that a line? I think it's like a, it's like a hockey line. No. Design. I don't know why where that square is coming from. I was following you now. I mean, you got up. Oh, now it's all on my head. Oh, now it's on your oh shoe. Now it's on my head. Oh, my God. Bye. Bye. I'm going to kiss you? No. I'm going to kiss you. No. I'm going to kiss you. Oh, my God. Mm. I didn't mess around. I did it myself. Mm. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Why can't he be normal?